Yes. Now that I have made my intro, let's celebrate. What the? What is that falling from the sky? Well, I hope Justine and Annabelle Scudder teaches a lesson for burning down the juvenile detention center. After I attack her, her with a spiked bit and acts like last year. Justine should realize that she needs to be living this life abused for all the horrible crap she has caused, as well as giving my gang a massive concussion and killing them. Although my gang keeps coming back to life due to beyond logic, I seriously hope Justine or Annabelle don't cause any more trouble again, or else I'm gonna. What the? Who would be knocking on my door like that? Well, I am going to answer the door and scold that person for pounding my door so hard. Excuse me you idiots. Why are you both banging on my door like that? Care to explain this? Hello sir. Is this the name of Fred Jones? Um, yes, and why did you ask? And will you please just answer my question? Hands behind your back right this instant. Hey. What are you doing to me? Get your handcuffs off me. Fred Jones. You are under arrest. What? I did nothing wrong. Why are you arresting me for no reason? Not to mention you're not the Vion City Police. What kind of police are you? Don't give us that excuse. We are the Shadow Ops Police. The real reason you're in custody is because you punched Justine Scudder at Wingstop. We also saw on Stanley Morris' video that you attacked Justine and Annabelle with your weapons at her former parents' house. What? But Justine is a criminal and a troublemaker, who causes horrific crimes. And I had all rights to attack her, because she and her sister Annabelle used gasoline and matches to burn down her juvenile detention center. You can't do this to me. The police said Justine is supposed to be living this life abused for all the crap she has done in the past, including the time she shot and killed her parents at a hotel, blew up Carvel ice cream with a bomb and prank called 911 on her principal. Oh uh, really? We don't care about what she or Annabelle did. It could be because of her abusive parents. What you did is child abuse and murder. Hey, what is going on here? Gang, tell these two idiots to let me go right now. Shut the hell up, Fred. Are you Fred's gang members named Daphne Blake, Velma Dingley, Shaggy Rogers and Scobby Doo? Um, yes. And why is Fred in handcuffs? Did he do something wrong? Yes. Fred is in big trouble with us right now. He holded up the line at Wingstop and punched Justine Scudder, launching her in the air. Not only that, he also attacked her and Annabelle Scudder with his weapons at her former parents' house. Wait. Justine Scudder. We know her the time she was child abused by Sonny and Alice Scudder. Their former parents who are red and evil. She and her sister Annabelle were on the news, and we saw how much she was suffering, not to mention they put her and Annabelle outside all night in a snowstorm. It made us very sad. But not Fred. Because he found those Punishment Day videos out of Justine and Annabelle funny. Yeah! We saw every single episode of Justine Gets Grounded. The last half of season 1 and all of season 2 of that series were very heartbreaking to watch. Why are you guys supporting that evil criminal girl and her sister? 
You know that Justine and Annabelle Scudder are big time troublemakers that deserve to be living with their evil red parents and get abused almost daily. Shut the hell up Fred. Yeah. Tell him officer. That's right. And I can see you both are shadow ops police officers according to the badges. Right? That's right. We are. You are very smart Velma. Why thank you. And Fred. Do you think it is okay to attack Justine and Annabelle Scudder like that? You should know that is child abuse. So what? The reason why I did that was because Justine and Annabelle used matches and gasoline and used them to burn down her juvenile detention center. Again. We do not care about what she did. It is because of the red, evil and abusive parents, Ms. Trenchbull and the corrupted police officers which made her behave this way. I agree with Daphne. And you also have been abusing us 24-7 and giving us massive concussions non-stop. Shaggy, you're telling me that Fred has also been abusing you guys all the time? Of course he did. As you see, Fred was being so bossy to us non-stop and giving us concussions 24-7. He also caused crimes in the city and killed us multiple times. Luckily, we were revived using Beyond Logic. He also gets mad at us very easily. Like whenever we did something wrong or when things don't go his way. I agree with Shag. He's a complete psychopath and uses us as punching bags. You idiots. How dare you say that to them? You all are going to seriously get concussions from me when I... Oh no you're not. You are not doing any more concussions on anyone anymore. Instead, you have the right to remain silent. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say and do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the rights to an attorney. And if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at the station. That's right Fred. And Justine or Annabelle doesn't deserve to be child abused anymore. Now they are living with their new parents who are way better than her former evil family. I cannot believe you would attack Justine and Annabelle with your weapons. That's right Fred. You are going to Harris County Courthouse in downtown Houston, Texas. And if you all want to hear his trial, then you have to take a flight to Houston, Texas to get there. Sure. We will pack our belongings and book a flight to go to Houston, Texas so we can hear Fred's trial. All right. We got to get going gang. We will see you at Fred's trial in Houston. All right officers. Thank you in advance. All right, everyone. Thank you all for coming to this very special trial here at Harris County Courthouse. This court is now in session. As we see here, we have finally found our wanted criminal, Fred Jones. I kindly ask that Jeffrey Hobbs to kindly come up to the jury's table and bring me the evidence of Fred Jones. Here you go, sir. All the evidence you need is right here on this file. Thank you, Mr. Hobbs. You may now go back and take a seat. You're welcome. Well Fred, according to your records, you are now convicted of the following charges, and that includes, reckless driving, robbery, fraud, child and animal abuse, animal cruelty, murder, battery and assault, including, giving your gang massive concussions which also counts as battery, and worse of all, you attack Justine and Annabelle with your weapons which also counts as child and physical abuse. Do you even know how much damage and trauma you have caused to Justine, Annabelle and your entire gang? What do you have to say to yourself? Well, I don't give a crap about what I did to Justine and Annabelle. Sonny and Alice told me that it's okay for me to do that since they are big time troublemakers. They deserve to be attacked by me for burning down her juvenile detention. Especially my stupid and retarded gang. So that's the reason you said? Yes your honor. And there is nothing you can do to stop me from giving my gang a concussion and attacking troublemakers. Maybe if Annabelle didn't disguise as a police officer and helped Justine burn down her juvenile detention, I would have never beaten them up so hard. Oh really, Justine and Annabelle have both changed now since their former parents have been treating them like garbage, beating them up and abusing her nonstop. Especially when they turned Justine back into a kid from October 22, 2022. 
They were acting like this because of their red and evil family. They were executed by Alejandro Mora for what they done. What? He killed Sonny and Alice Scudder? Justine and Annabelle's parents? Of course he did. What? Why the hell would you let Alejandro Mora kill them? They did nothing wrong. They have the rights to abuse their daughters because of their actions. Shut the hell up Fred. They deserve to be executed for getting away with abusing their daughters 24-7 and corrupting the police. We even have the corrupted officers, Miss Trenchpool and other enemies of Justine and Annabelle already in prison. And you are going to be next to join them. Now, how do you plead? Not guilty, your honor. There was no way I am going back to prison and be sentenced for an invalid reason for what I did to Justine and Annabelle. They both deserve it. And so does my gang. 